So while I was out to dinner with my beautiful wife, I received a shipment arrived notification. Normally that's no big deal. I mean, we live in the Amazon age. Crap arrives all the time. But today, guys, it's really special. Let's see what it is. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All my friends are here. Playing my favorite song right back on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we never stop. Music bumping, we just keep on rolling. Oh, yeah. So, I've bought like four pair of running shoes to get to this point. Let me catch you up to date. So, the last pair of running shoes before we started moving all around the country nonstop were Hoka Bondi 4. Um, never really got back into running, took a break. I mean, I had plantar fasciitis, tendonitis in my Achilles, Morton's neuroma, all the excuses. I mean, they were, they were legitimate. I mean, that, that crap hurt. Um, so when I got back in, I tried Saucony Freedom Ice ISO. I've got a pair of Adidas over there, some uh, Adidas Boost. Um, I tried the H Hoka Clifton's, tried those. I tried, what else did I try? I forgot now, but I've tried a ton of shoes. And finally I came back to these guys, right? Because I need to be able to run longer distance. I'm not running short distance and I'm running on street, so I need a ton of padding. I'm gonna test these out tomorrow. Hoka Bondi 6. It's July 24th, and as of right now, these are not available in stores. You can only get them on the Hoka website. It's pretty rad, um, and it's pretty scary because my luck here recently with shoes has not been that good in that I need to try them on first. Everyone that I bought online, I've had to send back Simply because I couldn't try them on. Oh, I tried the Brooks Ghost or Glycerins as well. Anyway, these are these are really rad. So I mean, they look like huge clunkers, but they're so light. Um, and you see all this uh, padding here, the foam. Your foot actually goes into like around here, so it, it's not as dramatic. But it's a ton of foam on this guys, right there. They have, uh, I'll, I'll do the full, full review. I'm gonna run like a 5K in them tomorrow just to test them out. I don't wanna go too crazy and run too far. I'm so pumped, guys. So pumped. So, there we go. Hoka One Une. I, I can't even say it right. For the longest time I was thinking, saying Hoka One One, but apparently they're Hoka One One. And these are the Hoka One One Bandai 6. Ooh, that's a marshmallow feeling in there, guys. So pumped. All right, see you on my run tomorrow. k personal best this year um, especially since my comeback before my comeback my non high school college 5k best was like 1848 but tons of injuries I've only been back running about two months I just ran my fastest mile 724 not blazing fast but been back running less than two months I think it was a 24 minute 5k and I'll take it so thoughts about the shoes okay well I have some heel slippage definitely on my left foot and for the first time ever I had to use the last set of holes on the shoe the ones farthest back to hold my foot in place and it still had a little bit of slippage but man oh man the cushion in these shoes is amazing and like you step in it you think 
how am I gonna get any pushback or bounce back from the shoe? Is it gonna absorb all the energy my foot is pressing into it? No, it returns a lot of that energy and we'll weigh them when we get back to the house, but man, they felt really light on my feet. I've been running with the Bondi 4s and they just felt hard and heavy, but they're older, so that's why. All right, I'm sweating like a pig. Do pigs even sweat? I don't even know why they say that. Uh, well, I'm gonna cool down, go about the house, and let's wrap up this review. Okay, so I've showered up, obviously, from the run. I'm in the dining room with my wife and two dogs. You'll see them in a minute. Our dogs are crazy, and they're attention hounds. And Anyway, all right, so <clears throat> I wanted to weigh the shoe. The shoe is, this is a size 11 and a half, and I'm looking over here on the website. And on the website, the... Uh, the Hoka Bondi 6 size 9, they say it's 10.9 ounces. So what does an 11 and a half wear? Because, I, I mean, do most men have a size 9 shoe? I don't know. Um, all right, so let's check it out. What, what does an 11 and a half weigh? All right, so there she goes. Looks like we've got, zoom in. We come up straight on. Probably straight on 12 ounces. Not bad. There's my dog. There's my wife. Hey, Mary. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, he wants to play on the phone too. All right, so what are the changes? There's a modified midsole. It still has the early stage meta rocker, which basically the early stage meta rocker is right behind the metatarsal head. So like on the bottom of your foot, this pad, the metatarsal would be right there so the transition begins right there and it's like a fulcrum it supposedly helps with the transition to the heel i mean to the toe so changes there it's got a completely different upper uh, last to build into it more ventilation up here let's see if you can see that the ventilation in there it's pretty breathable on my run it's pretty warm this morning i would say it was about 80 degrees and like 90% humidity here in Florida. Uh, had no problem with ventilation. And it has a Lycra heel interior. Like I was telling you this morning, it definitely was slipping on my heel and I actually had to use this last lace here. I don't know if it's gonna focus, to keep it locked down. They moved this guy up from the Bondi four that I had. It used to be lower, so it's up higher. And that kind of is a nuisance because it hits the back of my Achilles. So if you're not wearing higher socks, that may be a problem. I wear Smithwick socks. Usually I wear the zeros, no visibility. I'm definitely gonna start buying the ones where at least it'll come up to here. This is super smooth inside of here, so it's gonna slip. So I wear a size 10 and a half in my regular street shoes and I bought these in 11 and a half. All my running shoes I buy a little larger, actually a whole size larger. Now, the reason I do that is I've gotten black toenails really fast on a pair of Solomon Speed Cross 3s that I used to wear and I bought those only a half size larger. Also, the toe box on shoes usually gives me problems, it's too narrow. I didn't want to buy a half size larger and a wide because I felt like it would be too small. I have high arches as well and buying larger shoes, it pushes that arch farther back to where my arch sits. If I were to buy the correct size, I'd have the toe issue, but also the arch in the shoe, the arch support in the shoe would probably be in the wrong place for me. So uh, if you have high arches, this is definitely the shoe for you. Uh, you definitely want to buy at least a half size larger because they they talk about it on the website and some of the reviews wider toe boxes, but even a whole size larger, I can still feel my pinky toe over on this side, but I can sp splay my toes out, but I feel it there. And I think once it breaks in, it won't be as much of an issue. Now, they say this is their softest hoka yet. When I'm running, holy crap, it's really soft. But if you're just walking around, you're, the first thing you're gonna think is, wow, these are really stiff, they don't have much give. But once you start pounding the pavement, you're gonna definitely feel your sink in and then it responds and pushes you back. You see on the bottom, they still have the exposed EVA with rubber strategically placed all throughout. I mean, I think they don't cover it in rubber for a couple of reasons. One, they don't want the whole thing to peel off, but also to reduce weight, right? You don't need it everywhere. And 
by the time you would wear it down where you'd be eating into that foam, it's time to replace the shoes anyway. So that's not bad. Overall, I really, really like this shoe. I mean, I ran my fastest 5K since coming back running. I pushed it super hard, no issues. The shoes felt really light on my feet, other than the heel slippage issue. Um, I, I didn't have any issues with the shoe. I just wish Hoka's weren't so ugly. Like, you look on the website, they're really ugly shoes. I mean, we're already wearing a maximalist shoe, a giant Frankenstein shoe. Please make them more attractive, Hoka. We, um, just because we have old man feet and we have to wear old man shoes doesn't mean they have to be really tacky. I mean, like the blue design, all those other de designs, they, they look pretty bad, but I mean, it's function over form for me, for sure. So I definitely would say this is a buy. Grab, you can buy them online right now. Uh, most stores are saying they're not gonna be available until the 1st of August, but I was able to snatch them up online. They've been available online on Hoka's website for the past week or two. Definitely grab them. The sizes may be out of stock, but if you check back in a few hours or the next day, they're in stock. Like the 11 and a half, they were out one day, in one day, out one day, in one day. So that's probably pretty common within the release. All right, so solid shoe. Worth 150 bucks if you want to keep running and you got foot issues like me. Alright guys, see you next video.